and I'm a software developer at Postgres Professional. I'm glad to participate in today's event with a small overview of one of our product's new features. We will discuss what's new in our monitoring aging code moment so and how to quickly upgrade it. But first of all, uh, I will briefly talk about the agent in general. Momentso is an active monitoring agent uh, for collecting Postgres and system metrics that can be visualized via Zadex. It is written entirely in Python 3 and has a plugin architecture. Uh, in short, uh, the agent works as follows. Momentso generates uh, its own Zabbix template and sends data to the Zabbix server via Zabbix Trapper. We can collect about 40 system metrics and about 19 uh, specific Postgres metrics. Uh, it also provides command line interface uh, for updating some Zabbix server settings. For example, we can create hosts with Momentso command line tools uh, or get an overview of uh, the monitoring system configuration and exporting some metrics configuration. And to learn more, uh, more about this uh, tool, I recommend your talk uh, called Monitoring Postgres using Zabbix by Daria Vilkova from previous year's uh, Zabbix monitoring event and read our official documentation on GitHub. So let's begin. Uh, this summer we released a major update, the new third version of Momentso. We continue to actively develop the tool and uh, several patches have already been released. So the latest version now is Momentso 3.2. It should be noted that Momentso 3 is incompatible with the previous versions. Compatibility problems mainly uh, relate to changes in the structure of the Zabbix template and Momentso bootstrap tool behavior. Now we will have a slightly different set of objects created by Momentsu and used by Bootstrap. The full list of improvements are shown and we will discuss them one by one. Uh, also, I will show some examples of queries to collect metrics and show you about some Zabbix features that can be used for custom monitoring. Firstly, let's take a look at some template design uh, modifications. You should pay attention to these changes if you want to upgrade Momentsu. For example, we change uh, the template name to a more suitable moments of Postgres name. And the next small change uh, is the total transactions metric name switch to committed transactions. This is just logically more correct. Um, the old name of this metric might lead us to incorrect conclusions. The query shows uh, only the number of transactions committed and not the total uh, number of transactions in the cluster, regardless of their status. The next change uh, is the uptime metric. Previously, the uptime was calculated at the number of seconds since the start of the postmaster process. Now uh, it is evaluated simply as a timestamp. When interacting, for example, with log files uh, where we see timestamps instead of intervals, of course, it is much more convenient. Uh, next, uh, let's move on to more material things. For example, the way the cache hit ratio metric is calculated. Previously, the metric was calculated based on data from the PG stat database view. You can see the query to collect this metric on the left. Uh, but uh, the problem was uh, that the view stores data for the entire time the Postgres was running. So the final metric turned out to be inaccurate. In the new version of Momentso, the metric calculation method has been switched to Zabbix calculated item, which allows us to simply use Zabbix built in delta functions. So it means that now we can calculate this metric only for the agent polling interval. Also, we have minimized access to the file system and the use of objects that require super user rights uh, in the database. This affects uh, affected, for example, the archive plugin of Momentso. For the archive queue size and the archive queue length uh, metrics, our current strategy it as follows. Instead of the uh, file system direct scanning and counting files, the write ahead log segment size, the PG stat archive review, and the uh, log uh, sequence number evaluating functions are used now. The metric depends on the specified segment size, and uh, the resulted query is really sophisticated, but you can find it uh, in the source code on GitHub. And if you have any questions about this strategy, you can leave the issue or contact us by email. Also, we try to optimize the template structure. The template has been optimized primarily by uh, removing unused elements. The largest part of the deleted elements consists of graphs. And why these graphs not shown here consider it useless? Uh, simply because they represent only one metric that duplicates Zabbix's latest data behavior. 
the first line you can see the uptime graph which we discussed earlier. You can simply choose the uptime metric in the latest data section in Zabbix and build the graph at any time by yourself. So the same goes for the rest uh, of the deleted graphs. And some of the remaining graphs have been slightly redesigned. For example, archiving status graph have been matched into one and on the contrary, some graphs such as uh, background writer and checkpoints were split uh, into several graphs due to matrix units. I'm showing you a checkpoint graph as an example. You can see that this graph represents a lot of metrics and uses to access with different units, making it hard to read. And uh, now let's talk about the new features in Mamanso. First of all, we added a uh, new Postgres 40 support. The metrics based uh, on the new view, which is the 12 view. Uh, the number of right ahead uh, log records generated per second, number of full page images generated per second, also number of time when uh, right ahead log data was supposed to be written to disk to buffer overflows. Also, we added such metrics as time spent on writing right ahead log data to disk and to synchronize it to disk. And in addition, uh, we added a specific PG profile extension metric, uh, right ahead logs in duty. It represents the percentage of uh, synchronizing time during the metrics collection period. And since Momentso collects uh, PGSTAT statements metrics by default, new PGSTAT statements in for view metrics, uh, as, uh, such as number of times uh, records were cleaned and the last statistic reset time have been added to. Our customers sent us a number of interesting monitoring cases, and the curious one is about embedded indexes. Referring to the official documentation, we know that sometimes Postgres can leave behind an invalid index. For example, when concurrent index creation was forcibly stopped. So we added a metric that keeps track of invalid indexes in databases. In Postgres 12, for this PG start progress create index view was introduced, which we found very helpful for this issue. It helps to exclude currently creating indexes to avoid useless alerts. However, to make this metric available for us supported Postgres versions, we decided to rely on index logs. And you can see that the results in Mongean query is very simple. One of the biggest innovations in Momentsu is the use of Zabbix screens. These are two boards with general uh, system and Postgres information, a detailed board covering the state of the cluster containing such metrics as spin, availability, sessions, and so on and three detailed boards for logs, right ahead log, and transactions. But the implementation of screens led to some changes in the structure of the plugin. This is an important note uh, for those who created some custom plugins for Momentsu. To use the plugins uh, with the new Momentsu version, you should add some details. To get a widget-like definition for object, uh, we added a new parameter called dashboard. To use it, you need to pass information about the name of the object, name of the screen where you want to place it, and the size of the widget. Momentsu has a set of predefined screen constants, and more you can read in the documentation. This is the custom plugins chapter. Also, we improved the interaction with the Zabbix, of course. Momentsu can now determine uh, the Zabbix server version and generate various API requests based on this information. Now I'll digress a little and talk about one interesting flow that appeared in previous moment versions. I think it will be interesting for those who create their own tools or just scripts to interact with Zabbix templates. When a template is imported and updated, there are three types of Zabbix input rules. Update existing objects, create missing, uh, create new, sorry, and delete missing objects. The last parameter, delete missing, was ignored by moment, so when exporting the template. This meant that in the case of deleting any metrics, graphs, or other objects, all these unnecessary things continue to hang in the template like a dead weight. Now this flow is fixed in moments of command line tool, but uh, if you're not, uh, but if you're using an old version of moments, so I'm not going to upgrade it yet. The best solution in this situation is to upload a template where the Zabbix user interface and manually set the delet missing option. Another moment or two, moment to bootstrap also has been improved. First, uh, when the user option, the AM option is not specified, the default uh, user moment so with the same password will be created. Previously, we had to create this user manually. Secondly, schemas. Earlier, all the objects, uh, 
necessary for monitoring were created in the public schema of the specified database. There are several improvements here. Uh, now Momentsu has its own schema of the same name where all monitoring objects are created. And without specifying the database using the D option, by default, the database will be taken from the configuration file. Thirdly, uh, the creation of additional extensions is now also optional and automated. The X or create extensions uh, option has been added, which initiates checking for already installed extensions and creating the missing ones. This went down not only for the convenience, but also to improve performance. Because not all systems require the installation of heavy extensions like PG buffer cache used by moments or by default. Uh, this is my favorite part, I think. Uh, the det detailed documentation in the moments repository on GitHub uh, should also be a pleasant addition to its enhanced functionality. So you can find it on GitHub, read it, and give us feedback. Today, we will also take you on the topic of moments of grading. The difficulty lies in the fact that major update equals uh, loss of old data. Naturally, the old data uh, after the update will, uh, will be available in the Zabbix database, but it will be difficult to read it quickly, and there will be no visualization opportunities. So we have uh, just two options. Do not save our data and save our data. In the first case, the algorithm is extremely simple. You need to delete the old template, generate a new one, upload it to the Zabbix server, and link it to the host. But if you need to save uh, our data with the ability to visualize it quickly, we recommend you this algorithm. Uh, you should leave uh, the link into the old templates, into the old template in our hosts, and duplicate them. Generate a new a moment of template and link it to the copies instead of the old template. So you will have uh, two sets of Zabbix hosts. Inactive hosts uh, with the old moment of version data with the ability to visualize it at any time and a set of active hosts uh, with the new moments of template. The diffi difficulty here arises at the time of renaming because quite often we need to monitor much more than one or two servers and it will be really hard to rename them all manually. So we have uh, prepared several recommendations for this case. First option, if you have access to the Zabbix database, everything will be pretty simple. It is easy to rename a host using a pattern using the query by an button like shown on the left. And the second option, sending requests for renamed hosts through the Zabbix API and cloning them. All scripts you can also find in the documentation. The last thing uh, uh, we will discuss about Momentso is testing capabilities. If you're writing custom plugins or just want to dig deeper into Momentso, you don't have to install third-party solutions for testing now, you um, only need a GitHub account. The repository contains some scripts for testing, the build and installation processes, and tools on various system configuration using the built in uh, GitHub action tools. I try to tell you about the main points, and in conclusion, uh, I'd like to say that Zabbix is a very powerful monitoring solution and a great base for custom tools such as Mom and So. Really recommend you to watch the next Zabbix webinars and also ours too. And I take this opportunity to invite you to join us in January to learn more about data compression and Postgres. Um, thank you very much for your attention. And now I'm ready for your questions. Thank you, Alexandra. This was uh, really amazing. Actually, this is my first sort of deep dive, I think, into Mamonso. And this sounds uh, really, really insane, what you can do with it. Uh, really nice. Oh, we do have a couple of questions. Um, first off, I think you already answered, but I'm going to read it anyway. How to monitor? PostgreSQL server performance. So I think the answer to that is uh, Mamonso, right? That would be the way to go. Yes. Uh, uh, the <laughs> uh, next up, maybe you can just briefly, for people new to Postgres, uh, give us a set of metrics, uh, like the vital metrics that, that you need to measure to check uh, Postgres server performance. Uh, firstly, I should uh, say that Moments uh, in GitHub repository have uh, a special chapter called Moments Metrics. You mm -hmm. can check on the full list of metrics uh, here. And um, I think the simple example is um, such metrics as pink, uh, availability, uh, health of the database, uh, mm -hmm. the size of the database, and so on. 
Mm -hmm. So generally refer to the documentation and kind of filter out what you feel that, that you need and uh, just monitor that. Mm -hmm. um, another question, is Mamonsu compatible with Astro Linux 1.6? Do you know such detail? Uh, I know that uh, Mamonsu is compatible with uh, Astro Linux in general, but mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about specific question. Mm -hmm. You so can leave an issue on GitHub. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Um, uh, one more. Actually, we just had one more question just pop up. Okay. Um, so uh, could you please give us three to five things uh, to answer the question, why I should choose uh, Mamonsu as the monitoring solution for Postgres? <laughs> OK, uh, first, uh, it, it is an open source solution. <laughs> it is compatible with Linux uh, and Windows, too. We monitor a lot of Postgres metrics uh, and some specific metrics like I uh, discussed earlier, like uh, invalid indexes. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Mamonso uh, generates only one connection to the database that is very safe and do not affect a lot of performance. Mm 